2021 Congressional App Challenge, and today we are going to be interviewing each other. So I'm going to introduce myself first. My name is Amanda Kodabash. I am a political science major at UC Berkeley. I'm from Los Angeles, and this summer I'll be working as the Congressional Communications Intern. Hi, my name is Anjali Venkatesh. I am a recent Cal grad, and I majored in microbiology and global public health. Um, I'm from Austin, Texas, and I'm working as the program and outreach intern, and I'm also doing some work in congressional affairs. Hi, um, my name is Julie Duvo, and I also go to UC Berkeley with also a major in political science and history. And I am from Orange County, and for this summer, I'm going to be the congressional affairs intern. Okay, so let's go right into the questions then. Okay, Anjali, my first question's for you. Um, you mentioned that you were a microbiology major at Berkeley, and that field is very different than government and policy. <laughs> so what made you excited about policy work in the Congressional App Challenge? Um, so actually in high school, I did debate for all four years, and it got me really interested in policy making and the process and its implications. So when I started Cal, I actually double majored in poli sci and microbiology. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then I kind of had to choose and I liked bacteria too much. So I <laughs> decided to stick with that. Um, and then when I started taking my upper division classes junior year, I started taking classes like bioethics, ethics and engineering, and health policy, and then it all kind of clicked. Um, I want to analyze policy making from a bio perspective, and I think that there needs to be more people who understand the background in the policy making process in the first place. So um, that's what got me excited about policy making, and I'm really excited about um, how CAC kind of analyzes STEM from a different perspective as well. Oh, that's really interesting, Anjali. Thanks. Um, Julie, my next question is for you. How did you hear about this internship? Well, um, similarly to you guys, um, I was in the Callum Capital program, so with Angela and Amanda, and they connected us with Joe, the program director, and I was really, personally, I was very inspired about the CAC's mission to um, inspire uh, students to start a career in STEM. And so I decided to apply as their congressional affairs intern and to also work on my passion for uh, policy work and working with Congress. So it really just all clicked together. Um, and Amenta, what are you most, most excited about for this internship? <laughs> so part of my role as the Congressional Communications Intern is to actually inter interview members of Congress and why they're participating in the challenge and just their involvement in the challenge overall. So I think that's a great opportunity that I wouldn't get with any other internship and I'm super excited for that. Mm -hmm. um, so Anjali, what do you hope to get most out of your internship? Um, that's a good question. Um, I think that education is a major public health issue and I think that there are so many deficiencies in access to education and things like that. So I'm really excited um, to just learn from Cal the Capital and their whole process. Um, I think they're doing such great work and I love how they work with Congress and nonprofits and just STEM in general. So I'm really um, just hoping to learn about the process and um, pick up whatever I can. Oh, and my next question is for Julie. Why is the Congressional App Challenge's mission to inspire, include, and innovate so important to you? Well, uh, thanks for asking, Anjali. Um, as a first-generation um, college student in the US, I was really inspired by the CAC's drive to include as many people from as many different backgrounds as possible, whether it be women, people of color, or immigrants. and. I really wanted to be a part of this, and I also did not necessarily have the best STEM education myself, which is something I regret, even for if I wanted to go work in policy. So I really want to be able to be a part of the change for all these students in middle school and high school who have don't know that there's all these opportunities out there, and I want to be part of the reason that they can get them these opportunities. That's great. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> and Amanda, what do you hope to do after you graduate from college? Ooh, okay. So right now the plan is to go to law school and then become a lawyer after. And I think the Congressional App Challenge is a perfect avenue for me to go down this professional path because I'm working directly with policy and, and policy with regard to education and tech. So I'm super excited for this internship because of that as well. 
Um, and Anjali, my last question is for you. Do you have any advice for students competing in the challenge this year? Um, yeah, I can think of some. So I've heard from a few students that the thing that they struggled with most is the ideation process and how to pick which app to develop. And what I would say to that is though, instead of like trying to be the next best thing and like, you know, something super like cool, like a new video game, I'm not sure. But I would say the way, best way to go about it is to think of something that you would like as an app, like what you're missing out um, and kind of go from there or kind of go backwards and think of, pick a community and think of what would best benefit them. And I think that's the best way to make a productive app that could be really useful to specific communities. Um, I think that my next question is for Julie. Um, is there a piece of technology that you can't live without? Oh, well, um, I'm ashamed to say that it would be my phone. Um, <laughs> I find, especially in these times of social distancing and COVID, my phone's been really a big tether to the real world and connecting with my friends um, mm. all over the United States. And also just helps me get my life together because of all the planning app and the notes app. So I really don't know what I would do without. Um, and Amanda, speaking of phones and apps, so if you were competing in the challenge, what kind of app would you make? That's actually so funny that you mentioned planning apps because I would consider myself a super planning freak. So I don't know if I'm just considering the advice Anjali gave, I think I definitely have to make a better planning app for myself. Um, that one that combines the notes app, combines Google Calendar, and just makes it all more aesthetically pleasing and more organized and easier to use. I think I'd also really appreciate an app, a planning app that has a timer in it. So that when I'm studying, it actually makes sure it ensures that I'm studying and that I'm not spending more time on my phone on social media or anything. So yeah, something like that. That was a really all over the place answer, but <laughs> along those Ooh, lines. That makes sense. I would definitely download your app as soon as possible. <laughs> oh, percent. Yeah, I need it today. <laughs> Well, that's all the questions that we have for today. Don't forget that pre-registration is currently live. By pre-registering, students are automatically registered for the app challenge on the launch date. And the official launch is going to be on June 24th, so please, please sign up. And then the deadline is going to be on November 1st, which is going to be the last day to submit your wonderful applications. And for updates on the Congressional App Challenge, please follow us on social media. Our Instagram and Facebook are at Congressional App Challenge. Our Twitter is at Congressional AC and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. Bye. Bye. Bye.